I recently spent some time with one of the most preposterous displays I've ever seen. This is the monstrous Samsung Odyssey Arc Monitor, which was announced in January at CES. Samsung was light on details back then, but today I've got them all for you. And by the way, if you want to reserve the Samsung Odyssey Arc, the link in the description will give you a solid $300 off the retail price. Let's start with the ridiculous display. As you can see, this is a massive curved display. The screen is actually 55 inches diagonal with a 1000R curvature. You get 4K resolution in a 16 by nine aspect ratio with a stand that supports pivot, tilt, and rotation, and more on that in just a minute. It has quantum dot color and mini LED backlighting with local dimming, or as Samsung calls it, quantum matrix mini led technology with support for high dynamic range content there's a 165 hertz refresh rate and one millisecond response time which means that it's optimized for gaming even in 4k the matte display keeps glare and reflections at bay letting you focus on the content in front of you on the inside it's got its own processor in the neural quantum processor ultra a ridiculous name for sure, but it enhances the visuals and takes care of upscaling content to 4K if it's not there already. I didn't spend too much time evaluating the power, but be sure you're subscribed for the full review when it drops. The Odyssey Arc uses the same one connect box system for inputs that you'll find on Samsung's high-end TVs. This means one wire going into the monitor and a separate unit that has four HDMI 2.1 ports and an ethernet port as well for wired connectivity. The multi-view feature allows you to use the large display to fit up to four different screens of content on the interface, which reminds me that we've got to talk about cockpit mode. I mentioned that this monitor doesn't just tilt and pivot, but you can actually rotate it 90 degrees, putting it into one of the most insane form factors known to man as it pertains to monitors. This is cockpit mode, and it gives you a whole new experience when gaming, multitasking, or even when watching TikTok reels or YouTube shorts. In cockpit mode, you can display up to three screens of content and you can resize them and reorder them to your preference. During my time with the Odyssey Arc, which was just about 90 minutes, it did get a little overwhelming at times because your keyboard and mouse are able to be connected to one screen, but if you have multiple being displayed then your brain just naturally thinks you can move the mouse over to any section of the display and interact with it, but that just isn't the case. As you can see though, whether in standard mode or cockpit, this is a very impressive way to display and view your content. Oh, I should also mention, if you don't want to have the heavy display on your desk, you can also wall mount the Samsung Odyssey Arc with an included VESA wall mount, which does support the full rotation from landscape to cockpit mode if that's your preference. There's also a wireless arc dial that lets you manipulate the screen sizes and orientations while also controlling all the other settings of the monitor. You can just have it on your desk and whenever you need to change something, it's a convenient way to do it without needing to grab a remote control. Next, we've gotta talk about sound. The Samsung Odyssey Arc sports four speakers, one at each corner of the display alongside two woofers behind the center of the screen. This essentially gives you a 2.2.2 channel setup which supports Dolby Atmos with 60 watts of power. Samsung also says it provides the lowest 45 hertz notes of any gaming monitor. And using it in person, not only does it look great, but it sounds great as well. There's really no need for external speakers on your desk when you're rocking the Odyssey Arc. Now let's get into some of the gaming features. I mentioned some of the specs of the display itself and why it's optimized for gaming, but Samsung didn't stop there. You also get a built-in gaming hub, which is a streaming platform where you can play games from several services like Xbox Game Pass, Nvidia GeForce Now, Google Stadia, and more. There's also the Game Bar interface, which lets you view your screen settings without leaving the game itself. This is good for things like adjusting HDR, variable refresh rate, FPS, screen aspect ratio, and response time. You can also save these settings on a per game basis. You also have AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, which obliterates image tears, lag, and choppiness in fast moving games, providing for a smooth experience. But now let's talk about the big one, that being price. How much do you think the Samsung Odyssey Arc costs? Seriously. Pause the video and drop a comment right now letting me know. What is your guess? We played this game 
in the room while filming and I wanted to know what you guys think as well before it's revealed. So pause now to comment because the reveal is coming. You can reserve the Samsung Odyssey Arc right now. And again, if you use the link in the description, you'll get $300 off the retail price, which is $3,499. And the monitor will ship in early September. Based on everything I've shown you about this monitor, what do you think about that price? Is it fair? for what you get, or is $3,500 way too much for a monitor, even one with all the bells and whistles and cool factor that we're seeing here? Let me know in the comments below and I'll meet you there for further discussion. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webers and I'll catch you in the next video.